He's very fired up as per usual, seemingly unfazed by the mountain in front of him. Here we go! And the crowd loves it. Fan favorite for Brice Andre. Without a rash guard, Victor Hugo, the mountain man, big man flow there in the left, absorbing a bit of an eye poke there, accidental. Oh, we're right back to things, right back to action here. It's always a little unfortunate to see small mishaps like that happen, but Victor Hugo, game for the intensity that ADCC brings. You know, in the absolute division at ADCC, actually he's fighting on mat two right now, but we have seen competitors like Lachlan Giles in the under 77 kilogram division take out giants like Muhammad Ali. And right here, Fabrizio Andre, same situation. A bigger discrepancy, yes, but same situation. We're looking at literally the lightest division versus the heaviest division here. Yeah, legends are born in the absolute category, and Fabrizio Andre, the big throw by on Victor Hugo. But the margin for error is small in a situation like this. Fabrizio Andre has to remain perfect or suffer the crushing consequences of Victor Hugo. In the corner of Victor Hugo, Rafael Lovato Jr. In the corner of Fabricio Andre, Melky Galvão. Fabricio Andre reaching for a low single on Victor Hugo. Looks like they're going to try to join us here in the commentary booth unless the referee sets them. One thing that's good to note, Chase, is that Fabricio Andre is not taking very many steps back. Like, he steps back when he needs to, but he's really trying to find an opening for an option here. Yeah, Victor Hugo's being relatively passive. I think he's kind of feeling out Fabricio Andre. Looking for an efficient counter, maybe. Oh! Fabricio Andre with the duck under and gets Victor Hugo on his back. That was beautiful, Jake. I want to see that one again. Oh, and Victor Hugo using the beautiful tilt sweep with the knee in the middle, gets right on top. Resetting the action back in the middle. Seven minutes, 17 seconds left. Smashing into the guard of Fabricio Andres, Victor Hugo. And look at the guard of Fabricio Andres spinning underneath, inverting best he can. And Victor Hugo continuing to go forward. Fabricio Andres trying to. Spin underneath. Had a quick look at the back of Victor Hugo, but needs to be aware of the leg locking abilities of the big man. Victor Hugo, very competent in that department. Has a nasty knee bar, straight ankle locks, you name it, he can do it. Absolutely. Victor Hugo, uh, a lot of his branding is around the title Big Man Flow. And I would say that, I mean, these two have very good dynamic movement in their guard as well. Victor Hugo showcases that for how big and how long he is in the plus 99 kilogram division. He really does move very well. Absolutely. Incredible flexibility, great guard work. I just want to tip my hat to Fabricio Andre, though, at this point. He's right in this match. Scrappy as they come. 
you know, a really interesting tool that Fabrizio Andre used earlier in that duck under. It's very fast. You almost forget how fast he is today because he's been forced in so many technical situations throughout the day. But make no mistake, in the blink of an eye, he can do what he did earlier and duck right underneath the arm of Victor Hugo. Looking for a single leg, but Victor Hugo basically flexes his hamstring and sh shrugs Fabricio off. Some very fun matchups today in the absolute. You guys are watching on the multi mat. You're seeing Felipe Pena and Roberto Jimenez on mat two. And Tyro Tolo versus Pedro Marino on mat one. Victor Hugo dives in for a single leg, snatches it up. Look at the tenacity of Fabrizio Andre. Doing everything he can to withstand this takedown from Victor Hugo. Forced to a turtle position right here on the edge of the mat. And they have reached the points period here. Rolls out of bounds onto the concrete. Victor Hugo powering through. Just a little bonus exfoliation out here. Not an ADCC absolute match unless some of it ends up on the concrete, right, Chase? No, no. Time honor tradition at ADCC. Now we see Victor pouring on the pressure here from top. Fabrizio though, so compact with his frames, really absorbing the weight well, the pressure. So far, Victor Hugo has not been awarded Beautiful two points. Beautiful kiss of the dragon there, or inside Baron Bolo. He might be able to get on top with that, Chase. It's tough to see if, if uh, Hugo's going for... Victor Hugo doing the bench press knee bar. Yeah, that feels terrible. That is very scary, especially... And, and that's a legitimate, viable technique, especially in this matchup. When you have a considerable strength advantage over your opponent, that can be very uncomfortable. And now going for a heel hook. Knee line seems to be free for Fabrizio Andre. He comes up on top, maybe chasing the back here. I think this is where Fabrizio Andre wants to be, Chase. I think that having Victor Hugo on his back with a dynamic guard play of Victor Hugo, I mean, he's very hard to, it's very hard to pass the guard to Victor Hugo. But I would say Fabrizio Andre would probably like to move around better than having Victor crushing him. Uh, is the better two options, I would have to agree. <laughs> and I saw Melky Galvao in his corner calling for what looked to be north-south style passing, running around the guard. Now, Victor Hugo is very good at closing off the angles, but I think... Uh, that looks like a, a more viable option powering through, let's say, the guard of Victor Hugo. And it's surprising to see Victor not insist a bit more. Oh my goodness, up. look at Victor Hugo throwing his legs over the top. Fabrizio Andre getting, trying to get up to his feet, but is met by the bum rush of Victor Hugo right into a body lock. And this is a tough place for Fabrizio Andre now. All of his frames have been removed, and Victor Hugo is climbing his way towards the back. It's everything Fabrizio Andre can do to get the turtle position. As Victor Hugo is trying to do the, the bar bouncer Kimura. Yeah, sometimes called the handcuff position there. Really limits the movement of Fabrizio Andre, along with also all of that top pressure. Victor Hugo looking to get that right arm really deep. This is going to do a good job of, try of turning Fabrizio Andre flat on his back. And the score is still tied, Chase. 
That is true. This is not exactly a scoring position for Fabrizio Andres on his side here. Or Victor Hugo may be thinking simply about the submission here, maybe working his way towards a head arm choke. That's what it's looking like. This is a tough spot for Fabrizio Andre. And it appears that he gets the tap? That was a tap, it looks like. Fabrizio Andre is all right, though. Good sport, man. What a showing for Fabrizio Andre. Congratulations to Victor Hugo. And a great show of sportsmanship from Victor Hugo as well. <laughs> Fabricio Andre was so game and really impressed us. Yeah, awesome work from the Fabricio Andre and Victor Hugo there. That's the beauty of the absolute category, Jake. Absolutely, and we really saw the we really saw the the best 